Happy Valentine's Day, viewers. Today we're looking at a game that's all about courtship, intrigue, improvement, and reputation. Everything you want in a prospective partner. Our provided review copy of this third printing of Obsession includes the Upstairs Downstairs expansion, Wessex expansion, and the useful box, coming to us from designer Dan Halligan and Kayenta Games. This is an upgrade to the second edition of the game, as the box tells us it's edition 2.1. We're going full Victorian today, as I've invited Megan and Maria to join me at our table for a quick playthrough of this very highly anticipated title. I've been looking forward to this one for a while, so let's not keep the Vicomte waiting, shall we? Welcome to Obsession. We are going to be playing this game that takes place in Derbyshire? Derbyshire. 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 Uh, we are rival families in uh, Victorian England attempting to court the Fairchilds of Alderley Hall Ooh. to come and stay with us for the season. Um, this game takes place over four years. Each round is a season. But okay. not literal years. It not, doesn't take that long to play. <laughs> hopefully not literal years. All right. Uh, we are all going to start uh, as members of a particular family, and each family has a starting bonus. So, Megan, as the Cavendish family, you uh, start with a much higher reputation. We're very anyone. reputable oh. family. Oh. We're a very reputable family. Yeah. Uh, Maria is playing the Ponsonbys, who are the rich family. Yes. You start with 300 pounds. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> already out of control. And uh, I am playing the Asquiths, who uh, have their normal four family members, but we also have a Dowager Countess staying with Ooh. us, played by Dame Maggie Smith. Obviously. Of course. Um, the object of the game is to earn as many victory points as possible, and victory points come from multiple different sources. You have your improvement tiles, which will give you uh, victory points based on what side of the victory tile is currently facing up. You may also buy additional victory uh, improvement tiles as the game goes on. Your guests will provide victory points at the end of the game. These are gentry, either lords or ladies, who will be coming uh, into your social circle. You will get victory points based on the number of servants that you have, and we have some additional servants for hire here on the in the Lovely. board. Lovely. Um, and your reputation is going to give you victory points at the end of the game, as well as money. But money is really sort of the the least way to earn points. How dare you? <laughs> wow. I'm the Ponsonbys. Yes? The the, the who? How do you say my name? Ponsonby. Pa I'm the Ponsonbys. Ponsonbys, <laughs> yes. Um, on your turn, each player uh, has a player board that's going to walk you through the order of play, but the very first thing that you're going to do on your turn is you're going to rotate your service. The servants uh, will be in various states of rest throughout the course of the game as they... They had better not be. <laughs> Uh, they work for you and all they right. deserve a break every well, once in a while. all right, if you say so. Uh, the first thing that happens is you will move your servants from their quarters to available and from expended service into the servants' quarters. We will then check the round track or any monuments that we've built for uh, beginning of turn effects. And then we are going to choose an activity to host on our grounds. Oh. Uh, these can be chosen from any of the improvement tiles that you currently have, uh, regardless of which side they are on. For example, I've got an opportunity to host Whist in my front parlor. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't I? Exactly. So if you wanted to choose to host Whist in your house, you would take that tile, place it into your activity space, and then uh, you would note that uh, in this particular case, I could not do that because I ha it requires a... Uh, a housekeeper, and my housekeeper is in the servants' quarters, so oh. she is not able oh. to provide service for that, so I would not choose that one. If I wanted to go bowling on my bowling green, however, I could do that since it requires a footman, and I have a footman available to me. Um, you will then invite guests from your hand. Each player's hand starts with your four family members, in my case five family members, and two random starter guests that are a part of your social circle. Um, those are going to be your hand. You can invite based on what the particular event wants. So in my case, this wants two gentry, which is anybody. Uh, it could also be two family in the case of the private study, which I would only be able to choose Asquiths to attend. Um, or it could say two ladies or two gentlemen, and that would be the restriction there. Here I can invite any two gentry that I wish, so I will invite this uh, person who is uh, Sir Charles Wadsworth 
B- lieutenant. Could be a lieutenant, I believe. <laughs> um, and then uh, I'm going to have Maud, the Dowager Countess of Asquith. Well. Maud. Um, once I have and chosen. And then there's Maud, you know. <laughs> yes, good old Maud. Once I've chosen the guests, they must be attended. So any requirements of servants. Uh, so Sir Charles requires a valet to attend to him. Uh, of course he does. And then uh, we can enjoy, once I've provided all the service to my guests, I can enjoy the favors. So in order, I will look to see if I'm getting any money. In this case, I'm getting 400 quid, which I will add to my house total. That's five. A lot That's of quid four. there. A lot of quids. Uh, then you would check to see if you gain any reputation. I gain one two reputations, so I would slide my reputation marker two spaces. Um, I will then check to see if I gain any guests. I would get one uh, single fleur de lis, which is just a regular guest. If it had a double fleur de lis, it would be a prestige guest, and those are much, much better. I would add this directly to my hand. Uh, and then I would see if I would gain any additional servants. I do not. I could then spend this money buying tiles from the market. The market has, uh, each tile has its own cost, but some tiles have a modifier to that cost. So if I wanted to buy the barn, I could expand my groundkeeping and all estate activities anything that I would generate in my estate uh, category, which is this uh, sort of salmon color here, would every time I host that activity, I would gain an additional reputation hmm. from the barn. I mean, um, once you have a barn, your you reputation. A barn, people are like, wow. <laughs> uh, so I would spend 300 minus 100, I would spend $200 and get that tile to be added to my display. Once that's done, everybody who worked is going to go into expended service. Uh, these cards would go into my discard pile, and then I would flip this tile over to its opposite side, and now it is uh, not worth negative three, Points, it's worth two positive points. Oh. And uh, it, but however, I no longer get 300 pounds for hosting, I only get 200 pounds for hosting oh. that activity. Mm. Um, we are also, so that's how that, well, I'm gonna put that back without looking at it, because maybe I don't wanna do that. Um, so that's an entire turn. Then it would be the next player's turn, and we would go around once it's lapped, we'll move this up around and do it all again. Okay. Uh, the object of our fa- of our desires is either the uh, Miss Elizabeth Fairchild or Charles Fairchild Esquire. Mm. At the beginning of every He's year, a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> in a very shiny top hat, as very well. shiny hat. Mm. At the beginning of every year, we're going to reveal a theme card, and this is uh, the type of activity that the Fairchilds are very interested in in this coming year. Mm. In this in this game, uh, the first year, they're going to be very interested in prestige activities. So we want to try and increase our prestige points. Ah, whist for everyone! Yes! Uh, At the end of the year, we have a courtship phase every four rounds. The Fairchilds are going to look to see who has the most points in that particular category based on their improvement tiles, and whoever has the most points can choose either Charles or Elizabeth to come and live with them for a year. And they are going to make themselves themselves available to participate in your activity throughout the course of that year. Um, My goodness. Yes, it's very, you very want, very much want them. You will also gain a victory point card if you are successful. The next year, then we would reveal a new theme card, and the next year they're interested in something else for that. For the could course they of be year. interested in the same thing? Uh, yes, there are two of each in mm. in the in the a stack. Trend. Finally, and uh, almost done. You have five. Each of us have five secret objective cards in our hand. These are ways to earn additional victory points throughout the course of the entire game. However, at every courtship phase, you are going to choose one and discard it. You no longer have the option to earn points that way. Mm. These are generally ones that you're going to want to get rid of where it's like, you need these three tiles, and I haven't seen any of those tiles, so that's probably not going to happen. I'll throw that one away. Uh, In Season 6, however, we're going to gain two more. So you'll have Ooh. some additional options. All to right, play close with. your eyes. I'm going to show the camera mine. Oh, just you okay. know, just sure. so people can sure. see like okay. what some of the options are. I'm not looking that I could keep or throw away. Right. Okay. You good with that? Yeah. All right. Cool. 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 Uh, questions. That's basically the entire game. Does anybody have any questions? Um, no. No? No? I don't um, think so. So the, the things to keep in mind with uh, starting out in this game, the numbers on the tiles and some of the cards are reputation requirements. So you cannot host a, bre- a breakfast in your house until you are reputation level two. 
And once that happens, like you're gonna move this marker around, once it goes from five back to one, you'll take the one, flip it over, and you're now reputation level two. Well, I gotta tell you, you don't wanna go to a breakfast at somebody's house, reputation level one, those <laughs> eggs. <laughs> They're not good. That I mean, maybe they would be all right dry. if you had a barn. Dry. Yeah. Dry <laughs> eggs is not something I ever want you to say. <laughs> No. Ever again. No. Um, there are uh, events that happen every uh, every so often, most notably of which I want to draw your attention to is the Village Fair. Delightful. Uh, in the third and ninth seasons, there is a Village Fair, and only if you have improved your private study to the opposite side will you gain 300 pounds and two reputation when a Village Fair <gasps> happens. Well, you I must. must. You must. <laughs> You must do that yes. if you want the village fair oh bonus. Oh my, yes. All right? Truly. All right. We are going to begin. Not with me. Not with you. We're, we do, <laughs> I'll start. I'll start since Good I know grief. what I'm doing. I'll be the first <laughs> player me. of this game. All right. We are going to begin. Uh, I have an interest let me check my objectives one so more time. We'll, make well, sure. At the end of the game, we'd retain three of these. That's yes, you're going to have three at the end of the game. What are my options for tiles? Yeah, ooh, 800 to get that one? Ooh. The smoking room? Yeah. Seems kind of fun. Uh, I don't have any money, so I'm going to start. I want some money. So I'm going to host the bowling green, as I did in my example. Uh, so I rotated my service so that didn't happen at the beginning of the round. Check the round track, monuments, hall servants, all. None, yeah. of that, none of that matters. Hosting the activity. I'm going to take a footman because I require a footman and two, two gentry. I want some money, but I also want some fame. So we're going to do... Uh, fame? I do you mean prestige? <laughs> Daniel, <laughs> Earl of Asquith, and uh, Sir Charles. Now, Sir Charles oh. requires a valet. Yeah. So he's going to be attended. And now I'm going to check. Uh, I have hosted everyone. I'm going to check for favors. So I gained three, four, five hundred quid. Uh, I don't gain any. I do gain one reputation. I click up to there. And I'm going to gain one single guest from my quest. Uh, I will gain nothing else. I can buy from the market for 500 and I'm going to, I'm going to buy that barn. So I'm going to spend five, which only cost me two. I get three back. And so service tiles obviously do not have a uh, sort of a category here. So they just kind of sit off to the side. And they don't ever get upgraded. Okay. They just happen. And what does that one give you? This one is proper grounds. My groundskeeping staff is expanded. All estate activities generate one lion, one reputation. So, so anytime you do something, anytime in I do salmon a salmon colored. colored one, yep. Oh, I will gain handy. a reputation for that. Um, so now I'm going to clear my board. My footman and my valet are very tired. They're going to go into expended service. I'm going to take this bowling green, flip it over, place it here, and these two gentlemen will go into my discard pile. I mean, fetching those balls for like three hours is exhausting. It's exhausting, exhausting. Work, especially for that valet. Yeah. It is now your turn. Oh boy, now it's my turn? Yes. <laughs> Terrifying, okay. Well, yeah, do we move these things down? Oh yes, thank you. Was... Uh, these do in fact move down one, one space, and I'm going to draw a new tile out of this delightfully lo lovely canvas I have canvas to say, bag. these components are unreal. Yes. They're so nice. Really nice. Also, look at, because mine won't fit on the table, they thought of it, and I there's like a little thing to put them off to the side. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. And there's enough of these in the box so every player can have one, but we, you know, yeah, you depending all don't on need them. your space on the table. We drew the butler's pantry. Yes, also a service tile. Uh, pretty expensive. You will gain an under butler when you buy that, and the under butler can provide any mail service. Except useful man. <laughs> Which is an expansion uh, from the upstairs <laughs> answer report. I really want a useful man, though, Nicholas. You cannot have one. You can't so I'm have playing a this game. Man. I know, well, I I'll just have to have You'll have to have Charles, Charles. come and visit you. Wait, is prestige going to be our thing here? Is yep. That, okay, if that's what they want. Yep, the Fairchilds want prestige. Interesting. What should oh. I do, though? You. I get some prestige if I have a parlor. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Um, I have to, as Maria is taking her yes, turn, I will tell you it. all this. Someone the other day mentioned The Prestige, the film, from <laughs> yes. 2006. Oh, and yeah. you remember The Prestige and The Illusionist came out at the same time. Yes. Yes. Um, How could we forget? Yes. I know that I only saw one of them. 
You don't know which one? I read through the there's, synopses there's of no both. There's no way to know. And I cannot remember which one I what? saw. <laughs> they're the, they're the same film. Vastly the, different movies. Same film. Very different they're movies. Not. But I don't remember which one I saw. <laughs> I read them both. I looked at the cast lists yeah. of them both. And I was like, I don't know. Wow. I don't know. I think I saw The Prestige. <laughs> only, think. only one of them. So one of them stars Paul Giamatti. Yes, in a I very know that. you know spectacular performance. The yes. other stars David Bowie is like a walk-on part as uh, one of the inv- like uh, who the inventor of the time. I don't know. It was like Edison. He's like Edison or somebody like that. Uh, okay, I right? don't know. It's, he like shows up in like for like twenty minutes of the film. Great. Okay, you I'm ready? also gonna host a Bowling Green. Great. Because um, I am rich and I would like to remain Be that richer. way. You want to yeah. get rich? Exactly. Rich get richer. And Nicholas, fix your cravat. It's, oh, it's yes. Oh, your cravat. Yeah, uh, me. I require a valet at this uh, bowling green. So the footman. That's a footman. Oh, the footman. Yep. Uh, I'm going to invite um, my Earl of uh, Ponsonby mm-hmm. and Mabel, the Countess of Ponsonby. So yeah, so the Lord, Lord and Lady, lady uh, coming to this. Uh, yeah, they're going bowling. Um, so they don't require any servants. Correct. To come with them. So now you can just enjoy their favor. Great. Uh, 200 bucks. <laughs> so you get 200 plus the 300 for the activity itself. Oh, wow. Okay, yep. I forgot about that. Um, and then Lady is going to either let me trash somebody or pick a new one. And I don't want to trash anybody yet. Right. So Ugh. you get to choose. You'll look at two, pick one to keep, and then we'll discard the other one. Ooh. We must trash her. <laughs> she could, I suppose... Uh, no, you're not allowed to trash a family member because it must be a, a, a guest. <laughs> I'm you take cannot trash not allowed trash to disown family. her family. <laughs> well, well, well. Um, great. So then uh, if you want to buy from the market, now's the time to do that. This is you five? You have 800, yes. Wow, I'm so rich. Yeah. This you, is really The fun. only thing you can't afford is that butler's pantry, which is 900 where it sits right now. Oh, wow. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, I really want the smoking room. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I mean, is that a bad choice? To no, buy? especially with the prestige. Being I mean, it, it just seems very fun, and I am fond of cigars, so I'm going to buy the smoking room. Seven hundred. Whether or not it's a good decision or not. Now, do keep in mind you can't use it until you get your right. Uh, reputation up. Right. But I own it. You know, it's, you do own it. You I can't, you I can't have go one. in it. <laughs> so the, yep, the butler's pantry will move down, and it will be replaced with a brushing room. Ooh. A brushing room. So this is uh, this allows your footmen to serve as valets. Ooh! When you buy All right. So I'm out. I've expended my servant. Yep. What's he? This one? That's the footman. Footman. Mm-hmm. I have turned over my bowling green, and yes. I'm added the smoking room to this. You got thing. it. And okay. then you discard these two. Yep. And you've bought. Well, you're good. I uh, I didn't get any. No, I didn't get any. Um, prestige. Reputation? No. No reputation. The Prestige is a film okay. starring. <laughs> Starring Wolverine and Hugh Jackman. <laughs> oh my goodness. And uh, what's his name from uh, uh, Christian Bale? Yes, Christian Bale Christian is in, Bale is in it. Yes, he what's is. his name? Unbelievable. Yes, he Unbelievable. Is. <laughs> All, right. All right, Megan. Well, I'm going to break with tradition. Uh, okay. Um, and we are going to go to the main gazebo for afternoon tea. Oh, I love lovely. that it's not, it's not like. The, it's not one of the many gazebos. It's the main the gazebo. The main gazebo. Yeah. We're not going to just any gazebo. So here you will require yes. two guests. Um, the Earl Paul Cavendish mm-hmm. and the Vicomte Stephen Cavendish. Stephen. Stephen. <laughs> are together attending. Just two gentlemen having afternoon tea. Absolutely. <laughs> As very, they do. Very yeah. innocent. Yeah, yeah, it's I'm father sure. and son. They're just oh, hanging out. Yeah, never tea. mind okay. that. <laughs> 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 All right, um, I'm going to take a 300 pounds. So neither of those need to be attended. Yes. Okay. What, so 300 quid. Yeah. Quid. Mm-hmm. Um, no reputation. Is it not so your, your vicomte is an either. Yes, I know, and okay. I chose the money. Yes. All right? Yes. We chose the money over mm-hmm. here. Fabulous. Um, and then I get a, a prestige guest. Oh, a prestige yes. guest. Ooh. That's fun. My goodness. And so prestige guests uh, are worth more points and generally yes. uh, will provide better benefits, but almost always will require to be attended by at least yes. one person, if not two. She must be attended. Oh, it's a lady. Maybe. Sure. Maybe. Um, uh, do you wish right. to buy a an improvement tile? Ooh. Yes. Good. Uh, we'll pay a simple hundred quid mm-hmm. for a riding stable. Oh, lovely. Move these down. 
All right, this gent is tired. <laughs> he is. He's done enough foot go. manning for the day. Uh, we have, oh, so here's the thing. When you draw a tile that is already on the market, it is just added, it's stacked, and we'll draw a new one. Oh, that's nice. So now there are two breakfast rooms available for purchase. Ooh. And we have a servant's quarters. This one uh, is, I personally think it's one of the strongest tiles, especially early. But I already Ooh. spent all my money. I know. <laughs> well, um, I so threw it on a smoking room. The servant's quarters will allow you to deploy one servant from the servant's quarters. My oh. goodness. Lovely. Very good. These two gentlemen are also tired. All right. So now uh, we have oh, we've completed a lap. Yep. We'll move this to number two and begin again. Oh! Ooh. Ooh. All right. All right, so uh, we are coming up on the village fair, so I would like that money to happen. So I'm going to, oh, first of all, I need to rotate my service, yep. so these will move up. There was no one in the servants' quarters, so no one moves from there. Uh, are we checking the round track? Nothing happens here. I don't have any monuments, and I don't have the servants' hall, so nothing happens there. Now I'm going to host the activity of a private study. So you're like studying something and so we're, we're like preparing for the village you. fair. We're making plans. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. Uh, we need two family members and I am going to, yeah, we're going to bring. Uh, oh, I have played this game poorly already. <laughs> I'm now realizing. <laughs> you know what? Uh, we're going to bring Whatever. the lady and uh, the dowager countess of the family along neither of which require to be attended. Uh, I am going to enjoy favors. The tile gives me no favor. Uh, I'm going to gain one reputation and a hundred quid. Mm. And I am also gonna do what you did. I'm gonna take two single guests and choose one. These are both bad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna keep this one. And then uh, I can buy from the market which I'm going to do, I believe. I have 400. That doesn't look like I'm actually gonna buy from Do I want that morning room? Do I want that morning room? Do yeah, I, I think want so. The morning room? For 200, I'll take the morning room uh, since it does allow it's me to It's the only room you're allowed to be sad in. Saddened? Sad in. Oh, I'm allowed to be sad in. Right. The more, it's not that kind of morning. <laughs> you're, going, you're going to be sad in it? In the sad morning in room. This is the morning room. Oh my, we have a state room. I want it! Well, it's <laughs> a sure. lot of money. It's, a lot. it's one it's billion It's a lot of dollars. prestige and also a thousand pounds. I want all of it. I'm gonna flip my private study over, add it to my house, and then be finished. Wow, okay. Well, you know what they say. Tell me what they say. When you don't have a footman, mm -hmm. you can't go to the gazebo. <laughs> They do they say do that. They do say that. Yeah. So, so you'll move your footman to the servants' quarters. Yep. Uh, I'm going to host a uh, whist. Play some um, whist. The one of the worst games. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's only trick taking. I learned that. Fun fact. Fun um, <laughs> that is a fun fact. We need right. uh, the ladies' maid here because we're inviting two ladies. Oh, maybe I can't even. Oh yeah, I do have two ladies. That is a fine. housekeeper, not a ladies' maid. Just so you know. Oh, the housekeeper. Yeah. Okay. Is there a ladies' maid? There oh, yeah, is. This yeah, one. the purple one okay. is a ladies' maid. We're gonna go play whist. You know, Do it. let's Who's play playing? whist. We're gonna have uh, Miss Anne Harlow. Mm -hmm. uh, she was one of my random cards, and Lady Margaret Carlo. Um, the who is she? Why is she in my family? Uh, she's the young. She's the daughter of the family. Oh, why does she not have the same last name? Uh, scandal. This to me. Scandal. Maybe I she's a young, maybe it? she's a cousin who's come to live with you. Okay, I need to know all the backstory. Well, she's well, a I, cousin who's come to live with we'll you. We'll find out. All right. All right. So uh, uh, yeah. Anne Harlow must be attended. Yeah. So she needs the ladies' maid. She does. Yes. Um. Yeah. And uh, Lady Margaret has a cool bonus if she's attended with a gentleman, but I don't have any gentleman. A prestige gentleman, not a just prestige any gentleman. gentleman. Yep. Not just any not gentleman. <laughs> anyone. All right. So you get money. You yep. get a hundred. Quid. Yep, hundred pounds. And then you get some reputation. Yes, I get uh, three. Three. Yep. So click. One, click, two, click. three, and and then I have a rando card. You do get that. Okay. Um, and then do you want to buy? I don't think you can afford. I don't. Anything. I have only have two hundred dollars. Okay. So. So no. No. All right. Those will go into your discard. Okay. Uh, retire your housekeeper and then flip over that tile. Cool. Yeah, you got it. 
Oh, they go to the casino. <laughs> yeah, now it's like, now they're not playing whist. Now you've upgraded Ooh, your front parlor no, to right. a casino. My <laughs> goodness. Now they've learned the simple games, and yeah. now they may learn the more difficult mm-hmm. ones. Yes. Uh, all, right. all right, Megan. I um, will move this person to the servants' qu- quarters. Uh, and then I'm going to also have a village fair planning in the private study. Brilliant. So we need the but- butler. <laughs> Yeah, he's going to attend you and in the private two family study. members who but exist. Um, Lady Evelyn Cavendish and Lady Tara Cavendish. Mm. Um, one so has big hair. <laughs> one has big hair and Very one has normal hair. Normal. Um, so I get one person. So none of those need to be attended. No, no one right. needs to be attended. So you get a, yep, a Nothing regular. happens except I get a lot of guests. Yeah, you get one I for get sure. I this one. This one's bad. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. Um, and then you get then to look, get at, to those look two. at these two. So I have a question. Yeah. When the village fair happens mm-hmm. um, next round, it triggers. So I don't have an opportunity to do this yet. Right. So I missed my chance. Yes. Rip. You could have done it instead of hosting Whist, no, but you decided don't. the Fairchilds were more important. The, the Whist is very important. I understand. You can't miss Whist Day. <laughs> can't miss. Don't skip on Whist Day, I guess. It's the only fun I'm allowed to have. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take that one. Great. All right, so then uh, retire your butler to the expense. You're service. retired. <laughs> Flip that over. And now we are in the village fair round. Ooh. So uh, rotate service. These two will move into available. My butler will go to the servants' quarters. Uh, check the round track. I am checking the round track. It says village fair. Yay, the fair is here. Future the village fair fairs produce 300 fet. quid and two reputation. Oh, congratulations. I have, I've, mistakes have been made. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're doing wonderfully. You're doing wonderfully. <laughs> Look, I really wanted to play Wist. You did. And it worked out. Did it work out? We're going to find know. out. All right. Um, we're going to make a reputation play here. I just have to say that this woman in my hand really sucks. <laughs> <laughs> is, she not, is she not a delightful addition to your house? No. We no? wish we hadn't invited her. <laughs> but now she's here, and it would be scandal to let her go. It would be. Uh, I'm going to host some afternoon tea mm. uh, in my main gazebo. So uh, I'm going to attend that with a footman. I need two gentry. Uh, I'm going to invite Mr. William Darby. He's a famous circus owner whose name is Pablo Fonca. And he's a celebrated equestrian and showman. Good for him. Also one of the only people of color in the game. And he's going to do some horse dancing for us. He's going to do some horse dancing for sure. Lip is on a stallion. Lip is on. Somebody knows their horses. Uh, I'm also (laughs) going to invite uh, the the youngest vicomte in the family. Uh, all right, so we are hosting this main gazebo. Do I get any money? I do get a hundred pounds. Also, uh, this is an estate estate activity, so I'm going to generate one reputation, moving from five. So now I have a level two reputation in my house. Uh, more reputation, I get none. More reputation, I do get two single guests and. A prestige guest. Oh, so Ooh. we don't get to refresh our hand until everybody's been used. Uh, no, so on your turn. Oh, I can rest. Yes, That's right. I, and I did not explain that, so you are right to ask. Oh. Um, on your turn, instead of hosting an activity, you can choose to pass. And by passing, you will take all of your servants and move them to available, regardless of where they are. You can then pick up your discard pile, add it to your hand, and you would then get the option of either. Uh, clearing all of the tiles from the market or taking 200 pounds. Okay. And then you get a chance to buy Ooh. from the market and then you pass your turn on to but the market. But uh, otherwise, I can expand my ha- expend my hand and then redraw everything? Nope. I have if to If you rest. expend your hand and you literally have nothing to do, then you must rest. <laughs> you must. Yes. Okay. Uh, I will flip over my main gazebo and... I retired that person, and now I am finished. Oh, right. Uh, right. Excellent. Are you not... Are you, do you not wish to buy a room? Oh, I have... Uh, thank you for reminding me. Uh, 600 pounds. Oh, I could just get that underbutler. <laughs> a brushing room? A brushing room? Wait, 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 wait,
Wait, wait, wait. I need, I'm gonna spend 400 on that flower room. Ooh, oh. the flower room. Would you like to admire the bloom? The you, blooms? Would you like to admire the bloom? The blooms? <laughs> would you like attack. to admire right. the bloom? The best part about this game is the terrible accents you're allowed to do. <laughs> yes. Why wouldn't you? We now have a drawing room. A drawing room, I want it! <laughs> Yes, you do. Of course you do. <laughs> I all right. All this Thank you for reminding rooms. me about my, my purchase phase. I had forgotten. No Go problem. Ahead. All right. Well, uh, let's host an event. What do you say? What do you say? I'm going to have a... Well, my servants are now moving around. Yeah, yeah, do that. Uh, we're going to have an afternoon tea in the main gazebo, mm -hmm. which I've been wanting to do just absolutely forever. Um, and uh, we've got two gentry coming to this. So your footman has to attend it. Oh, uh, yeah. Get in there. Uh, so, <laughs> get in there. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, this is one of the cads I picked up. Who's oh, going to a cad. A cad. Yes, Sir Bentley Churchill, BT. Oh my! He's a cad. It even says yes. yes. He lacks all of the propriety of his father. Pursues ladies with abandon and is quite wealthy. Oh well. He, but he, he cannot attend, can he? Oh, he cannot attend. Oh, he can't because he's not going to go because he... Oh. You're not, you don't you, have enough reputation. You have not oh enough my, reputation my for the God. Even the cad won't come. The cad will not... He will not... <laughs> Jesus He will Christ. not deign the cad to will, attend. The cad will not come. <laughs> he went. In that case, we're going to have these two boring people. There you go. People. Uh, we're going to have Major William Howes, who yeah. needs this green man. Uh, and oh, you're not going to tell us why uh, Major William Howes' uh, claim to fame? Oh, he's a well-known explorer. He led a successful expedition up the Zambezi. Zambezi. Oh. Lovely. Oh. Delightful. And who's this green? That's a valet. He needs a valet. Mm -hmm. And Edward is my Viscount. Uh, yeah, he's just in the family. Yeah. He's just, I mean, <laughs> well, he's, just, he's just in the he's family. He's just in the family. All right. So you're uh, going yeah. to get, uh, do you want the reputation or the money? Uh, the money. <laughs> Why not? And then you get two uh, additional reputation from William. So one, two. So this is going to flip to two. Yeah. Hey, sweet. And I get a prestige guest. You do. Yay. There I'm so are. excited. Do you wish to buy a, an improvement tile? Well, I only have $300. Mm -hmm. What could I buy? A breakfast room? You could buy the brushing room. Oh, you could buy the... Wait. No. Yes. Uh, the the e brushing room uh, or e the breakfast room? Yes. Only B rooms. Yes. Oh. What does the brushing room do? Uh, will allow your footman to serve as valets. Oh. If you require a valet but don't have one, you could make a footman. What do I get from the breakfast room, though, really? Uh, it allows you to bring four oh, gentry that's, to, that's a lot. to an event, so you can have a big breakfast. And then on the other side, it allows five gentry, but is worth two points. All right, let's buy a breakfast room. You got it, 300. Why not? Got to spend all my money every turn, you, you know. Do. That's what that's the ponce are ponce all bees. about. <laughs> well. All right, retire your servants. Goodbye. Make your discard Flip pile. This. Gain your thing. Yep. Be done. Okay. All right, so this... Move, mm -hmm. and then you move. You got it. And All right. you are eligible for your village fair. Yes. You'll gain 300 and then two okay. reputation clicks. Oh, one. Oh, well, now a family of two reputation. Who did I get? That's very nice for us. Yes. Um, I have, I have no idea what we're going <laughs> to do today, everyone. <laughs> Oh, um, um, my prestige guest is very So this is your last chance to uh, earn prestige. Yes. Uh, for the Fairchilds. Now, Maria has three points. Oh, and, and I have minus two. You do have minus two. However, if you can, if you were managed if to I buy, buy these, the, state, the room, state room, if you can get to 900, which is not outside the realm of possibility. Well. <laughs> but, well, it, but is it a good idea? Right. You would, in that case, you would simply tie. Yes. Right. Yes. So the Fairchilds would not come to live with anybody, but you would each get a victory point card. Oh. Uh. Uh. All right then. Mm -hmm. um, but you know what? I don't think that we will. Though. All right. Uh, we simply do not care. Um, nobody has used the butler's room to hire additional servants yet. That is true. Um, so that is an option you also have available to you. Well, you can bite me if you wow. think that's what I'm going wow. to do. Wow. Um, the butler, I can't. All oh, right, you also can't because the butler's really yes, tired. Yes, the butler is right over here. He cannot. Um, all right, well, you yes. know what? Yes. I am going, do you know what we would like to go out for a little bit of sporting? Oh. Ah, sporting. Yes, we're going to go to the bowling green. All right. 
Ah, uh, we need this this little fellow. A footman. We need a little footman. And who will be bowling and today? Two gentry. Um, we are going to take Sir Richard Brana. Oh, Kenneth's <laughs> no, I was going to say <laughs> related. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sir Richard, Richard is regarded as an elite horseman, and he always travels with his own man. Oh, lovely. Mm-hmm. And you is, can because uh, yes, Richard acquires have... two reputation, and you are recently upgraded. I am recently upgraded. Um, and then we are, we will take uh, Miss Carolyn West, who mm-hmm. does require a lady's maid. Yes. Her fortune comes from trade, and she has managed it shrewdly. Mm. So I get 100 buckaroonies. <laughs> Wow. You actually get four because you're going bowling and you you wager and How make money. How does going bowling <laughs> earn you this money? This is five, like, right? Yeah, it's five, oh, Okay, yep. there we go. You got it. All right. Uh, so 500 buckaroonies, yep. um, a reputation, yes. and a person. And a single. A new guest. A new guest. Oh, we're delighted to have invited this man. Oh, wonderful. Oh, lovely. Uh, Unlike so, someone else yeah. who's here. You have 900 pounds. Do you I wish do. to buy from the builder's market? I do. I do. But what do I wish? Yes. Um, I'm still mad my cad wouldn't come to my He will now. Afternoon you can bring him now. Yes. I know. Let's see. He's just still uh, mad about it. I understand. I uh, would like... Mm-hmm. To just not know what I'm doing. All still. right, very well. Uh, no, I will take the seven. Yeah, quarters. that's a very good purchase. Yep. Five, uh, six, seven. Yes. Come here. And that'll just hang out off to the it side. You got it. Yeah, move All these right. down. Okay, so new. this person is expended. Yes. I killed. Him. Wait, My what? God, <laughs> we took him bowling. And that was that. And that was that. All right, so the new tile out is uh, one, of the, one of the interesting ones in the game. It is the Servant's Hall, and at the beginning of your turn, you can place any servant on the hall to gossip about somebody else. They go down one reputation, and you come up one reputation. Uh- <gasps> gossip does pay. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. All right, uh, that is the end of that, so now we are on to courtship. Yay! And the Fairchilds uh, are into prestige. I have negative two points. I have negative two. I have three. You have three, so you will gain a victory point card. Oh, lovely. Now these, I'm going to pull one from the bottom to show the camera, Uh, but these are uh, some manner of points that you can save to the end of the game, or whenever you wish, you can discard the victory point card and gain a benefit that is not points. That's cool. But you will lose the card in order to do that. I love um, how small they are. They are very small. It's for they're, a mouse. They're, they're wee. Um, so you also get to choose a fair child to come wow, and live with Wow, who do I want? Yes. I could have Charles, uh, the nephew and dashing heir of the Fairchild fortune, is the most desirable bachelor in Derbyshire. Uh, he gives three prestige whenever three, he comes. Uh, reputation. Reputation whenever he hangs out with you. I'm just going to keep uh, calling it prestige. And Miss Elizabeth will give you a prestige guest and two reputation. Oh, that's nice. The other thing to keep in mind he is that this. yeah, he, they, uh, Charles wants a valet <coughs> and Miss Elizabeth wants a lady's maid. And you have a lady's maid coming, but not a valet. Yes. So this, what does this have to do? So say? this uh, just says that they are a prestige guest. Oh, okay. And they don't. They don't require any reputation. Oh, that's like, lovely. They'll just hang out with you. They don't care who you are. They're above oh, all of that. I think I'm going to take the lady. The lady. So she goes directly into your hand, not into your discard file. Fabulous. When you earn her. Uh, we are all now also going to take one of our objective cards that we don't think we're going to accomplish this game, and we are going to throw it away. Hmm. Uh, I know which one I'm getting rid of, and it's going to be this one. I like that. I can't yeah. think of any other game that, co- that kind of does it this way. It's a delightful, and then in two seasons we'll gain some new objectives as well. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Um, and while Megan is deciding, the first player marker will now rotate counterclockwise. So. Oh. N- so the, 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 this is interesting because Megan took the, the last action of the third season. Where did we discard this? Uh, just to the bottom of the deck. Okay. Um, Megan took the last action of the third season. Now she's going to take the first action of the fifth season. So you get two actions in a row. Oh, that's cool. 
by doing that. But we didn't do the fourth season. The, it the was ju it's just courtship. The, the fourth, yeah, the fourth season, season is, is only just courtship. courtship. It's not purple, so it, it doesn't. Ooh, nothing right. actually happens. Um, so once that's all done, we've moved that marker. Now we'll go to the fifth and. There is a, a special thing that happens here uh, to help out the builder's market a little bit uh, every so often. This is a service tile reserve. So we're gonna take any of the service tiles in the game and put them here. And now they are all 300 pounds to buy, including, or not including their, their modifier, Modifiers. right? So like this is only 100 pounds to buy. Yeah. And you can, these don't have to be purchased in any order. You can buy them in whatever you want. We will then uh, reveal, move these down, and reveal three more. And these, oh, we have our what? first monument. An oh. imported marble floor. Lovely. And these, whenever you're replacing uh, multiple tiles, there is a number at the bottom uh, of, or sorry, at the towards the bottom of the card. Three digits. That will tell you in which order they need to be placed. I've so, never thought um, of a floor as a monument, but I, mean, I suppose it's, it's why not? It's gorgeous and <laughs> it's, uh, increases it's your reputation. This is a fenced paddock where you can admire the horses. You don't touch. <laughs> no touching, no riding. Just, just admiring. Look at them. Just look at them. Yes. Would you like to go to the paddock and admire the horses? <laughs> yeah, yes. yes. I'll do that. Um, so that is like a full lap of the game. Uh, let's pause here for just a minute and yes. talk about it. Yes. We're going to finish this game or else. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't we care will, if you have other plans. Uh, I have my thoughts because I've played this many, many times. Both of you, this is your first experience with the game. Uh, Megan, do you want to start? I'm enjoying it. I'm loving, I'm loving the ever, the ever loving bejesus out of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can put that quote on your next printing. Wow, there it is. Enjoying the ever-loving bejesus, bejesus out, out of it. it. Yeah, yes. um, I think it's delightful. I like like it's it has a lot of stuff going on, but it's very elegantly managed so that I don't feel every time like I am being overwhelmed with choices or information, even though there is a lot going on, which I think is super impressive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and 100% agree with that. Uh, there's a lot going on, and yet it doesn't feel like I'm drowning mm -hmm. in options, yeah. which can definitely happen in board games, yes. right? And some people like that, which is totally cool. But I'm not necessarily one of those kinds of people that wants to do my math homework when I'm playing a game. <laughs> yep. So I think that this yeah. strikes a fabulous balance of being uh, complicated enough that you have enough choices every turn uh, and that you can sit there and plan your turn as well while your uh, friends are taking their turns. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, so you're not sitting there doing nothing, uh, which I think is really cool too. So like, it's compli it's complex, but it's not complicated, mm -hmm. let's put it that way. Yeah, yep. for sure. I, I completely agree with all that. I, I do, like the teach of this, as, as you know, I spent probably three or four minutes sort of walking through all the options, and as you sit there and you look at it, you're like, wow, what? I, yeah, I but thought like, I was going to be But like, as you sort of get through each turn, you're like, oh, I can only pick one thing, and I, I have to focus on certain things, so like, you're not always going to do everything in every game. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing I think, uh, Megan, you mentioned this earlier, is the component quality is just outstanding. Like yeah. these it's little so these servant good. meeples, the coins are fine. The cards have a have a good feel, but like mostly, it's it's the little things like Your these family little family has, boxes. Has it's box. beautiful. Yeah, they have the family crest on them. They're individually tailored. They have cutouts, Ugh. so you can easily pick it up. And then everything you need for each <laughs> family goes into this box. Um, the thoughtfulness of adding these little country estate improvement tiles off to the Lots side. Lots of reminder cards here. Lots of mm -hmm. reminder cards. Nice. Um, there's like little rule changes that you can do. Like there's a uh, a purple D20 that's in that's uh, included with the game mostly for solo play. But there's also like a variation where at the beginning of every year you roll the die and then you don't know what the theme of the Fairchild until is the until end. like until mm -hmm. one of those seasons based on the die roll. You can also Great. do it where you don't know until the very end. Sure. Like once the courtship yeah. phase starts, you then you flip it over and you're like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> um, so like that's really fun. The 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 service tiles, you know, changing the way servants work, stealing yeah. reputation from somebody else is very thematic of like gossiping and all yeah. of that. Um, there's there's a, an expansion upstairs downstairs, um, which adds a bunch of new guests as well as uh, some some additional mechanics inside the inside the game itself. Um, I will say, with the Wessex expansion and the upstairs downstairs expansion, you could play this with up to six players. Uh, the base game provides four. I I don't I don't know how much 
more I would like it at six because it feels like there'd be a lot of downtime. It would be a downtime. lot of time. You have a yeah, lot, of, lot time. of downtime between between players. That being said, it's fun, right? Like yeah. I would definitely enjoy. It's a great time. Yeah, especially with that. So I think that four, three, four, five is probably the the sweet spot for for my personal taste yeah. sitting around the table. I think it's just it just also feels like a game that's made by someone who wanted to. M- make a beautiful game because they love beautiful games. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, I completely agree. This game is currently available from Kayenta Games' website. Uh, we want to thank, again, uh, designer Dan Halligan for sending us this game to play. Uh, we've been looking forward to it for a very long time, and I'm very glad we finally got it to the table. Same. Yeah. Thank you it's so amazing. much. It's amazing. I love it. Yeah, it's delightful. Obsession is as high on theme as it is on honor and reputation, and the gameplay itself rises to match. Let's go through our checklist before I give you my final thoughts. In the box, rulebook clear and non-gender pronouns. The main 16-page rulebook guides players step-by-step through the game's phases and exactly what happens when. For a denser rulebook, I was a little worried I'd get lost, but there's a remarkable amount of clarity here, and it's a pleasure to get through. For terms and mechanics that might be otherwise confusing, there's a very handy additional glossary book provided for reference. The rulebook itself alternates back and forth between he and she pronouns when referring to the player, which can be a little confusing. Confusing. Iconography clear. It took several plays before I was able to stop confusing the reputation lion with the prestige guest fleur de lis, but perhaps you'll all learn faster than I did. Other iconography is pretty clear and will be picked up without issue after your first game. Packaging well done. Yes! Sorry for yelling. The base game box, while lacking an insert, is perfectly sized, and the telescoping family and component boxes are perfection. The entire contents of the base game, upstairs, downstairs expansion, Wessex expansion, and the very useful box will all fit in the original box, which is no small feat. On the table, good representation. Each family has a lord, lady, and two children of opposing sex, though my Asquiths gain a dowager aunt as well. The guests in both decks are a nearly perfect even mix of men and women, though are lacking in people of color. Not entirely, mind you, but three or four in the base game total, which is a shame. Component quality, lovely. The improvement tiles are nice and thick and honestly need to be in order to stand up to shuffling them around in the bag. After half a dozen plays, I am starting to notice some wear in the corners, though. The coins and reputation trackers are decent punch as well, and I already mentioned the telescoping boxes are great. Overall, it's incredibly clear from the minute you open the box that this entire effort is a massive labor of love, and it's done very well. Replay value, very high. There's plenty of ways to get what you want, and more importantly, to deny others what they want. With lots of expansion content available, alternate rules, and paths to victory, you could easily play this one over and over without it ever feeling rote. Fun to lose. Yes. Points in this game come from a wide variety of sources, and while some are certainly more lucrative than others, it's not immediately clear who's actually winning until the very end. While it's true that sometimes you're just not going to find the tiles you wanted to make your strategy come to fruition, as Mr. Bates taught us, the arc of history bends toward justice. It's abundantly clear by now that I love Obsession, and I think you should too. Players who don't dig the theme or who may not want to spend their off-turn time watching other people suss out how best to improve their grounds are forgiven for not coming along. But for the rest of us, Obsession and the additional expansions provide an incredibly rich and delightful table experience. I've yet to put this game away and not immediately want to play it again. I love it that much. You can get your second edition copy right now from Kayenta Games website, which I've linked in the description below. As always, I'm Nicholas reminding you to help protect the game population. Always leave your cards. Hey everyone, if you liked our video, please hit that sub button and ring the bell for notifications. Check out all of our other offerings at goodluckhighfive.com and please consider becoming a patron of the channel over at patreon.com slash glhfmagic. It helps us keep making videos, reviews, and podcasts. You can become a member for any dollar amount. We're also always looking for new games to review. You can reach me at glhfnicholas at gmail.com. You can follow me, Captain N the Game Master, at Captain NGM on Twitter and Instagram and follow the channel at GLHF Magic. Remember, please shop at your local game store whenever possible. Until next time, I'm Nicholas, and good luck. High five.